Yo, what's going on guys, it's Chaosity here, and welcome back to the channel. Alright, so today I kind of got a bone to pick with Sonic Superstars, the latest classic Sonic game within the franchise, alright, released two days ago. And this video is basically me explaining why Sonic Superstars is literally the worst classic out of all the classic games, in my opinion, okay? But before we get into it, if you like the video, drop a like, and if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel, we're on the road to 500, but without any further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so Sonic Superstars. Why do I hate it so much? What's wrong with the game? The game isn't bad, okay? The game isn't bad. Like, I can tell by playing it that, you know, like, it's a legitimate game. It's a legitimate classic Sonic game, all right? But there's just too many things, too many annoyances that just ruin the experience for me, all right? And we're going to get into that right now. The first of which is the spin dash. They gimped the spin dash, fam. How do you mess up the spin dash? The original spin dash, the bread and butter of the classic Sonic games, you used to be able to hold down and just spam the charge for the spin dash, however many times you want. You used to be able to spam it, all right? Didn't matter, there was no cap on it. In Superstars, there's a cap to how much you can charge up the spin dash, right? You Let's, let's say you start going into a spin dash. You go into a spin dash, you start charging it up, once you reach max charge, you can't rev it anymore. It just stops letting you rev it. And then you have to wait for the charge to go away to then be able to rev it up again. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to, to just like to nerf the spin dash, but it ruined the experience for me. Once I learned that the spin dash was basically ruined, I barely used it while playing Superstars. Okay, that's the bread and butter of the classic Sonic games. You can't get rid of of the spin dash or you can't nerf the spin dash like fam this is something even forces got right even forces let you spam charge the spin dash like come on man the next thing among the annoyances of superstars the levels are way too gimmicky they're way too gimmicky all right the first and second level are low-key fine but every other level after that that i've played has some type of gimmick that just ruins the experience I can't tell you how many times it was like it was a good at least three or four times where I found like a special stage ring, like one of the giant rings, only for it to like go away or only for me to miss it, pass it by because some gimmick is pushing me forward or just taking me away from it. And I have no control because it's automated. There's way too many gimmicks in the game, fam. And then after the gimmicks, you have the bosses, the long, drawn out boring ass bosses why dude in literally every classic game you used to be able to hit a boss however many times you could get it hit in did not matter one cycle comes in if you're a good player maybe you can get two maybe three hits off on the boss and then you have to wait for the next cycle in superstars once you get your one hit you have to wait another minute and a half to two minutes for the boss to do its thing just just for you to go back in and get that one hit again. And then you gotta wait another two minutes. Why are the bosses so drawn out? Why? In literally every other classic game, you can hit the bosses as many times as you want. The boss didn't have any any iframes unless it was literally just off screen. You can hit the boss as many times as you want within that cycle. You can't do that in Superstars. You have to sit and wait and just watch the boss do these simple ass attacks just so you can get your one hit in. It's boring, dude. It slows down the game for no reason. It's pointless. And then on top of that, along with the crappy one hit at a time boss standard that they got going on, they even had the audacity to put an auto scroller boss in there, dude. They even put an auto scroller in there. When you, when you fight Fang in whatever stage that is, in that lava stage, that factory stage, when you fight Fang, you have, bro, the, you have to wait so long just to get one hit off on that dude. It's pointless. I literally quit the game right then and there and got my refund. I wasn't playing that. And on, while we're on the topic of bosses, I watched Prem play that final last story boss with that dragon or whatever. Okay, like, I don't know. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, but it's a classic game. Come on. The game's been beaten at this point. But, like... Dude, that final story or that final boss with Super Sonic is not even skill based, bro. It's literally RNG based. And I'm going to tell you why. While I was watching Prem try to 
fight that boss. There wasn't really anything wrong with it, other than the fact that it's like similar to Time Eater again, but whatever, that doesn't really matter. The rings are non-existent, all right? You're fighting that boss, maybe you have a couple rings just floating around on screen, maybe like a cool two or three. If you get lucky, maybe you get five rings floating around on screen. But the, the, the main source of rings for that boss is Tails and Knuckles. They're supposed to come in, Knuckles is supposed to glide in and drop some rings, and Tails is supposed to fly in and drop some rings. The problem with that though, is that it's completely RNG based. They don't come in at specific times to guarantee that you could get some rings. It's RNG based. So let's say you're fighting the boss, you're dodging the attacks, and then boom, you dodge the attacks. Here comes Tails in the tornado. He's dropping you off some rings. Oh, uh oh, you can't collect them because the boss decided to transition into its attack phase. And when it transitions into its attack phase, those rings that Tails just left for you disappear. You could be low on range. You could be like 15, 10 rings, about to die. Tails comes in, collects with the rings, but you can't collect them because the boss decided to transition into his attack phase. And then once that's done and over with, you're dead and you gotta restart. It's completely RNG based. The boss isn't skill based. You have to just wait until you get that one good run with good RNG to give you enough rings to last long enough to beat the boss. Fam, like bro, when Prem was streaming that final boss, I literally left the house. I literally left the house, hung out with some friends, played basketball, got food, ate that, came home, turned on the PC, and Prem was still streaming that boss, dude, like two hours later. Whole, like, he legit was playing that boss for like three, four, however long he was. It was some hours. He was playing that boss for that long until he finally got a decent run with good ring RNG. That is not a good final boss, dude. It's just not. And then to top it all off, the game isn't even as polished as it should be for a $60 game, dude. I'd be scrolling Twitter. Literally, I saw like 10 some posts of people just playing the game and then having some kind of weird ass glitch just come in and ruin the run that they're having. This is a $60 game, by the way. Okay, like, it, like final verdict, basically, final verdict, basically, bruh, is that Mania shits on this game, all right? Mania shits on this game. Three and Knuckles shits on this game. Sonic 2 shits on this. Sonic 1 shits on this. Even fucking CD shits on Superstars, dude. It's literally the bottom of the barrel classic Sonic game. And you can't change my mind about that. Like, dude, think about this. Sonic CD in its current state has a better spin dash than a 2023 classic Sonic game. It does not compute. It doesn't compute. I can't fathom that. I cannot, I cannot fathom that, all right? And it's $60, like look, the game isn't bad. That's not what I'm saying. It's actually somewhat a decent classic Sonic game. But would it be the classic Sonic game that I pick to play? Hell no, all right? Hell no. I'll probably come back to Superstars at some point, but dude, do not spend $60 on this game. This is not a $60 fucking game. At best, 40. At best, 40. Not 41, not 42, not 43. It has to be $40 or below. If you're going to get this game, wait till it goes on sale until it hits bare minimum $40. This is not a $60 game, okay? Anyway, I'm done with my little rant. I got myself heated recording this, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you guys think of Sonic Superstars. And I don't know, leave a comment. But until the next video, peace.